Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a makeup look on what I'm wearing right now. It's kind of a, it's very warm toned. It's a warm tone, kind of monochromatic. And then I added the little cranberry wing. <laughs> so it's so easy. I only used three shadows and a pigment. And then I used a couple of new products on my skin, which is why I'm so glowy and full coverage and mm. so if you would like to see how I got this look then just keep on watching okay guys so I am starting off with prepping the skin I'm using this spray by Urban Decay I think it's the B6 spray um, here I am putting on the stroke cream by MAC and this is the gold light it's one of the newest ones and then I'm going to go in with time check and this is just going to control my oils in my T-zone. Now I'm using the Anastasia foundation stick. And I'm just showing you the before and after. Like how my skin looks before. And then when I'm putting it on. Like it covers everything. I love this foundation. And this is the first time that I've ever used a stick foundation. And I'm really impressed. And I'm just using the Dry Beauty Blender. That's going to give me a fuller coverage as opposed to a wet one or a damp one. And I'm just going in with a brow pomade from MAC. Um, I think it's Deep Dark Brunette. Everything that I'm using will be in the description box. And this little cream contour is by Ruby Kisses. And this brush is from Real Techniques. I'm just using the lighter one to cream contour. To highlight my face, I am using Studio Tech Foundation and the color is NC42. I really, really love this foundation. Um, the reason I'm using it as a highlight is because the color I got was way too light for me. So I just use it as a highlight, but it's so, it's perfect. I love the formula of it. I'm just going back in my Beauty Blender to blend the highlight, the highlight and the contour. And again, it's a dry beauty blender because I want full coverage today. And I'm using Bright Forecast. Um, this is the Prep and Prom Highlighter Pen from MAC. Um, I really like this. My first time using it. I'm actually using a sample, and I really like it. I think I'm gonna go and buy it. And now I'm just cooking with Laura. All the places that are highlighted, I'm going to put some Laura. And I'm using this contour brush by Morphe. And I'm using the Studio Fix powder in NC55 to contour. Well, to bronze. And this is my first time using Morphe brushes. And I am really impressed. Like... They are, in my opinion, I think they're dupe for MAC brushes. Like, they are really, really good. I recommend them. Now I'm just going to use this Hula Bronzer. And this is my first time using this, and I was pretty impressed. Now I'm going in with Burnt Pepper by MAC. It's a blush. And these blushes are severely pigmented, so... <laughs> Be careful when you're using these blushes. Now I'm going in with Cheeky Bronze by MAC. And then I'm going to put some of the Bobbi Brown um, highlighter on top. And it just sets it off. I think the one that I have is Pink Glow, I think. And I'm using these little brushes by Tarte. 
it's the um the holiday kit and it comes with like dual sided brushes and I really really love them um, I'm prepping my eyes with the paint pot and ground work and then I'm going in with my crease with rule so shadow by Mac and I'm using a blending brush by Morphe and I'm just gonna do this to both eyes but I'm just going in my crease with wool to warm up the crease and to give me give me some warmth I just want some warmth in this eyeshadow look Now I'm going in with brown script all over my lid and I'm using a brush by Sonia Kashuk. It's just a kind of a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Um, it's kind of dense though so it, it packs really well. I'm going to put this all over my lid and then blend a little bit more of the wool in my crease and then I'm going to put saddle on top of that. So I'm just using this, I think it's a 212 or 216 brush by MAC, and I'm just going to do the same thing on the lower lash line, just put, going in with Rule, Brown Script, and Saddle just to smoke it all out. And I really love this brush, it's a cute little fluffy brush for the bottom, well for the lower lash line, it's a perfect size. So for my liner, I'm going to be using the red glitter out of the pigment set for the Nutcracker Sweet Mac Holiday. And I just sprayed just a little bit of Fix Plus. And as you can see, like it was a little bit chunky. The chunkier, the better. The more pigment you get out of it. If it's too watered down, you won't really see it that well. So... I think I ended up adding a little bit more glitter so I can get more pigment out of it. But I'm just going to be doing a regular wing with that pigment. And I'm just going to build it to the thickness I want. But I started off kind of thin. And then the lashes that I'm using are Lena Lashes and the style is Demo. And right here, I'm putting the Plum Lip Liner Pencil from MAC in my waterline. And the mascara that I'm going to be using is the Studio Sculpt by MAC. I'm not sure if they still sell it. I haven't seen it at our counter. I'm not sure if we're out, but... If you see it at your counter, get it because it's perfect for the bottom lashes. This is my favorite mascara for the bottom lashes. And I'm just using the Ashton Liquid Lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this formula. This is my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever like it doesn't crack it doesn't it's not too dry it's just it's so perfect to me I'm just gonna use the all-nighter spray from Urban Decay it sets my makeup and keeps my oils under control yes 
so guys this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment below what other videos you would like to see from me and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel see you guys in my next video Thank you.